So we have pretty solid Southern migrant enclaves there in Southern California and Southern New Mexico territory in Utah. Um, in part, why these places? Why not go into like, like further north in California, for example. And what are they looking for economically? Um, do, they, do they really think that like, they can replicate, say, the cotton economy in these places? Yeah, another good question, Niels. Um, I mean, to a certain extent, it's just a simple matter of geography. Um, so, so Los Angeles was the end point of the southernmost uh, overland um, immigrants trail. Mm. Um, and so you get a lot of dispirited gold prospectors who either go up to the gold diggings around Sacramento or never decide to, um, and they settle in Los Angeles. And so you do, you get a, of the Anglo-American population in LA in the 1850s, a majority was actually white Southern. Mm. Um, uh, and in places like Utah, it's, it's, a, it's a slightly different story. Um, there were a number of, they called the Mississippi Saints, um, uh, families, white families from Mississippi who, um, converted to the LDS church in the um, uh, sort of early to mid 1840s and moved west during the Mormon exodus there. Um, and a number of them brought their enslaved workers with them. Um, and to a certain extent gave a, gave a Southern character to, uh, to Mormon politics. I, I, for, for a number of reasons, Utah is a more complicated territory. Um, and so it's not as central to the book as New Mexico and as California, which were really seen as the sort of the hinge of this far Western program of white Southerners. Yeah, it's, it's sort of funny because uh, my wife spent some time in Southern Utah and um, you had the, the university she attended like for one or two classes is Dixie State. Yeah. <laughs> and like you, you, you have that kind of Southern man, Southern holdovers on some levels there in that region still, which is like, who would have thought, right? <laughs> yeah, and I, I don't know if your wife noticed when she was there, but up to a certain point, Dixie State flew the Confederate battle flag as the sort of school symbol and had a rebel oh, as the mascot. That. Um, and that part of Utah was settled by quite a few Southerners because Brigham Young actually um, created a cotton mission to that part of the state. Um, mm. and sent a lot of white mm -hmm. Southern families to, to experiment 